We're here at the McPhee compound in Epi, New Hampshire, and we're making another video for Sheridan, Wyoming at Don King Days with Judge Chad Chance. As our judge, he's the owner of Hook Watch. Uh, if you've ever hung out at an Arab horse show, you know the man that probably originated this shoe, and Chad got it from him, Mr. Jim Sproles. He's a handy guy, and it's pretty neat that we get to make a practical shoe that you can nail on. These shoes will go with a leather and a wedge, so of course, you want to center punch it where you'd probably drill your hole. And then it's punched for eight concave sixes. It's got a rolled toe to the aspect to it. And it's fullered. The fuller on the lateral, I mean on the medial side comes underneath. The lateral side goes out. It's punched slightly coarser on the medial aspect because this foot will be fairly straight on the medial aspect. And so you're going to fit it a little full with the pad. You're gonna keep your quarters fairly up and you're gonna have a slight donkey on the outside so you don't have a continuation of the branch and the heels are this narrow in the back. It's made out of 11 inches of three eighths by one. And it must be one and an eighth inch in the toe, otherwise it won't have their little wrench that goes over the top of it. And it's gonna be concaved out on the medial aspect of it. All of this is to be hammer finished. Anytime you've, got a, anytime you've got a shoe with this much drawing, what we'll do is we're gonna crack the toe and then we're gonna draw about where the heel nail is on both sides. And so we're just gonna kind of eyeball it and draw it as we need to bring it to size. So a center punch mark is more of a hindrance on a shoe like this. We're gonna crack the toe. Kind of just moving it around, not trying to commit too much. And then Right here, I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna push it over the horn and pull back the hammer towards me. Push it over the horn and pull it back towards me. Just kind of flatten it up. I'm gonna come here, just right where the, the heel nail would be, I'm gonna set it up. Now I'm gonna forge the outside. Come in and forge the inside. Put my heel on there. And one more time, I'm just gonna feather it in right here. And then, and then put me a nice little heel on there. All right, this is the medial aspect, so I'm just gonna flatten right here. That's the back side. I've got it roughed out. A little bit more of it will be, uh, as I turn it on the horn, I can and clean everything up. I don't wanna overdraw it, because then I make a mess for myself. All right, just kind of feather it in. Outside. Inside. Make my heel. One more time, just kind of. When I do this, the reason I draw one and the other is I don't think I lose that much heat or time but now I can make sure it tells me which branch is longer. It tells me which one I drew more. And so now I can, I can, I can, this one seems just a bit shorter, so I can thump on that as I turn it. This is gonna be fit with a pad. So we're gonna probably, the heels on this foot will probably end up about here. So you're thinking that you wanna have this shoe kind of kick out at the very end so they don't just continually go towards each other. And that keeps your base of support wide. All right, I'm gonna come in, lock it in, bring it over, start sweeping my shoe. And you see that little kick out at the end. Sweep the shoe. And we're gonna fuller 
right down the center. Right in the toe, right where it comes up, sweep it around and then really start to draw after that heel nail, sweep it around. Flatten it up really good. I'm gonna go ahead and go out, bring that around. Now I'm starting to get that shape. And I'll commit to the, the nails this time. I think I'm doing pretty good as far as the shape goes. Look at the web. You don't want to be way back in the foot. And then get all of my four nails in there. Pretty much down the center of stock. Now, you see I'll take this and move that out and around and we'll do the other side. All right, so I'm gonna come in here, kinda, now really just start forging that over. That gets that little bit of kick out there. I'm coming in the inside, so. Now I'm just gonna Pull it on back to the heel. Line up my branches, my heels. I got the, the toenail on the edge of the anvil. So now I just go over and go to the other edge. Punch my other toenail in. Don't be hanging too far behind that widest part of the foot. Split the difference. This is a teeth rattler. I want to pack my, I'm going to just feather in and I'm packing in. I'm not pulling away. The, I'm not ricocheting away. I am packing that in. You can see that. Just constant over flapping blows. Like I say, my heel nails are my guide. We don't want to be over an inch and an eighth in the toe, otherwise we're not legal. It's a hammer finished shoe, so you want to stay as close so your hammer blows as possible. Now I'm gonna put another aspect into the shoe which is we have it scooped out from the center of the shoe all the way around to the heel. So I'll do that now and then there's really no reason to sit here and shape this shoe up because those for every bit as this tightened up the toe this is gonna straighten up the branch. Just the way I like to deep seat stuff I'm gonna hold it by the heel and I'm gonna just gradually Gain speed. Again, this is a good way to knock your teeth out. I can't get to it anymore because I've totally flattened it out. So one more time. And just, the more hammer blows, the more you're gonna have get rid of the scallops. I think one of the problems you can see is that 
you're growing the whole time you're forging on this so you don't you'd be better off not overdrawing it in the flat and then you're stuck you can't forge on it so because i'm just going to be forging on it. i'm going to get ahead of the horn go all the way around as soon as i get it kicked over it now i'm going to get behind the horn and again i'm going to just this is pushing all my lines so now, just gonna come and run out there to that heel nail. Kind of accelerate my hammer blows and the velocity and then boom, kick it out a little bit. I'm gonna come from this heel nail and blend all of this back in again and just try and make it smooth, smooth, smooth. This is making all those lines pop. five by six and an eighth another thing you want to do too so you can help out the guy who's he's uh, cutting pads for you that day is get your center punch mark on there so that drill bit doesn't follow on the steel we're just about done I'm just gonna flatten it up and clean it up a little bit and uh, we'll brush it up and we'll be done Flatten her up a little bit, make sure we measure, make sure everything's good and flat. Just kind of ever so slightly clean up those that safing. I think we're done.